broke my game again crystal dynamics came and 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 hello beta testers and welcome to the club i'll be your bouncer today i hope you enjoy your stay at asset flip and recolor like this video to piss off a defender and you tell me in the comment section if you've heard ideas this good from any of them this game is in love with asset flipping but the community has made it clear for months that their firm and final answer is no mm. no matter how many shills proclaim it a win and especially not at 14 dollars that don't include the pallet swaps barf when the game came out i memed man I'd love Mr. Fantastic as a skin for Kamala Khan. If this game had actual players, we would have seen something like this modded onto PC by now. But when the game was cracked and people didn't even want it for free, ooh lord. I'm done memeing though. A Reed Richards skin for Kamala Khan? I'd pay for that. Deadpool skin for Kate Bishop? I'd buy that. In my notes from months ago, I wrote four words. Deadpool change BAMF colors. And to clarify, BAMF is the noise that Nightcrawler's teleportation makes on the page of a comic book. Having a Deadpool or Kurt skin, changing teleportation color to red, maybe grabbing a male employee to just grunt out some reactionary noises into a microphone to replace the girl voice lines, Jesus man. I would invest in that in a heartbeat. And if I'm as big a hater as half of the defenders rolling in here begging me to stop talking about the game, then how fast do you think the big fans of your game would buy something like that? But at this point, I want you to go further. If y'all gonna flip assets, why not flip heroes? Frankenstein, Widow, and Kate into Deadpool. Widow's precision weaponry is perfect, and Kate's blade melee is more than adequate to just, I don't know, make a mishmash of characters. Am I saying that this is easy and it can be done in no time? No, but I am saying it is easier than a whole ass new character. Is a skin instead of another hero ideal? No, of course players would prefer their favorite characters fully realized, but if the choice is between a Spider-Gwen model and skin for Spider-Man or not having Spider-Gwen at all, people would choose Gwen. But most importantly, they'd purchase Gwen. I know I'm just howling at the moon at this point because I'm genuinely terrified of what already perfect Spider-Gwen's outfit might look like if you guys had a spin at ruining her with over-designed ugly straps and belts and, and just, just bizarre body models seemingly designed by some androgynous scientist of a madman whose only goal is to unsexify things, to desex them, if you will. Comics, superheroes, they're so sexy. But Crystal Dynamics is so angry at sex. If they can't have it, <laughs> then none of you are getting any sensation looking at any of my characters, okay? You're like patting your crotch like, hey, 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 wake up there, buddy. This, this doing it for you? Oh, what, you're inverting? No! We're partners. You need my consent for such a drastic life change. Uh, what? No, no. I'm the penis. And I'm in control of my life. My penis life. Life's not easy for me, you know? So you need to be supportive. Otherwise, you're penis phobic. Here <sighs> go. Oh. Oh my god, I'm I'm an innie now, and I feel like people will actually listen to me already. And you better be supportive. Yep, otherwise you're pussy phobic. And scene. Hmm. Oh, penis and pussy phobic. I couldn't have said it better myself. 
Look at all these recolors, then pay me $14 Ugly and androgynous, no tacos, no sausages Look at all these my recolors, game then pay me $14 dynamics game, Ugly and my androgynous, game, no tacos, no dynamics sausages game. So what if it's one of the ugliest microtransaction Marvel skins you've ever seen? $15? It's okay. You'll still have some left over for the coffin. My condolences, by the way. I'm sorry for your loss. What do you, what do you mean who passed? Your dignity, of course. <laughs> Here's another idea. Call the mission Hell on the Helicarrier. Uh, it's pretty much like a normal wave-based horde mode, but every wave, the enemy level increases, and after wave 5, there is an increasing percentage chance that a villain will just show up. So you can get lucky and have no villain show up all the way to 10. You can get unlucky and have a villain show up every wave until 10. After wave 5, make it so that they're doubling up or tripling up on some of the enemy types. On wave 9 or 10, make some ability just broken. Like the projectiles were when your game first came out. Just turn it way up to the point where it's borderline a nuisance. Throw on some modifiers, you know, those things that you left out of the custom harm room. Even though I, I there's two fucking things I asked for, and you hit neither of them. Gold star, bro. Why do I even remind my, look, dehanced representations of Marvel superheroes that a dollar store could genuinely do a better job on when games... 10 years ago with a shoestring in the way of a budget compared to what things are costing these days when you're in month eight and only have two archers as new heroes when the issues with your game have been echoed for eight months and still haven't been fixed it's broke can't do nothing because the enemies don't pop up but it's okay because that was six months ago and it's not like those are still problems in the game oh wait a minute they of course still are. Shill somehow still defending would be forced to consider you some manner of illiterate, uh, hard of hearing, if not blind. If you're unaware of the biggest problems that players acknowledge about your failure, and if you ignored the critics because your cult mentality, like your followers, class any and all criticism as hate or personal attacks, remember, we out here talking about a product. Y'all diving in front of shit like I'm a train about to hit somebody is just... It's pretty confusing stuff, but slurp gang gonna slurp, I guess. But slurp gang gonna slurp. <laughs> Damn. Please understand, this game's irrelevant, the developers are irrelevant, it's the treatment that Crystal Dynamics is trying to get away with, We're trying to socialize as acceptable, that's something that I really don't want the record to indicate was something gamers just rolled over on, okay? So y'all could be part of the rollover gang, and I'm gonna be oh, I'm gonna be on this side, okay? That's cool. That's cool, right? Cool, we cool, we good, we good, y'all. Y'all get back to that side now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Defenders, do you disagree? Tell me all about it in the comment section. Comment to be Defender King. Who among you will be the last man standing, which is to say the last user commenting? Your title awaits. Only those who like and subscribe to this video are eligible for the title of Defender King. Why don't the heroes in this Marvel game have a good strut? Surely the mocap artists would have heroic and sexy posture and grace locked down if they mocap him for a superhero game, so I have to believe that somebody working for Crystal Dynamics directed them to walk like they have rods up their ass. How are you a superhero with a lame walk instead of a badass strut? Like, it's not just the schlubby, scrawny models. It's not just the off-brand bulky outfits. Down to the walk isn't super heroic. It doesn't have confidence or the up-their-own-ass grace of someone feeling themselves. That's what IGN means when they say swagger. And swagger is not confined to any one race. But you stole that from these heroes and made the vibrant colors dull, forced the least popular into the spotlight. You removed the charm from Marvel. It didn't need enhancements, didn't need alterations. That worked. Crystal Dynamics, you have so many things that are broken. Why would you break what 
didn't need fixing. Beta testers, I love you. Thank you for your support and your likes. You all already know it gets further with blah, blah, blah.